and this is just a short video um, in which I would like to talk about the state of health and state of charge of the battery. Um, we are using the P <laughs> thanks James. We are using the PHEV Watchdog version 091, which has the feature to switch between kilowatt hours and ampere hours now. I never was a friend of ampere hours. Um, I always liked the kilowatt hours because how much does it cost to charge the car for one ampere hour? Yeah, you wouldn't have a clue because you don't know how much is one ampere hour. But if I ask you about a kilowatt hour, you've got a rough idea. Yeah, your kilowatt hour is that what you know usually pay when you are at home and using electricity. So that's what you pay to your retailer. Just a phone call. Okay, so. So kilowatt hours are far more practical to use, I think, than ampere hours. Um, all the battery capacities, what you see on the internet for all electric cars and plug-in hybrids, they are all mentioned in kilowatt hours. So the, the top line over here gives you an indication of the state of health of your battery. Yeah? This is the um, state of health the, the battery actually has at the moment. When you get the car new, this percentage over here is supposed to be 100% or maybe a little bit over even and then you have a 12 kilowatt hour battery. This is the maximum capacity the PHEV can have with a new battery pack. So after a while the battery it degrades which means it gets older and loses capacity. That's a normal process with um, lithium ion batteries of course as most of you may know. I've spoken about the battery state of health a lot in my previous videos, especially in the first probably 10, 12 videos or so. Um, it's all about the PHEV's state of health and the battery. I personally think this 93.4% is not the real state of health of the PHEV's battery. I was down to 80.5 percent or something um, after three and a half years only and they managed to get it back to 100 percent have a look in the previous videos um, if you haven't seen them yet so i i'm still under the impression this is just a calculated number of the computer inside the car basically what happens it it drifts away from the real capacity yeah because of charging discharging of the battery it after a while it 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 can it can't determine the the actual capacity of the battery anymore and is more estimating it so um the dog obviously the the, the watchdog obviously um reads out the computer the ecu and shows us just the figures which are in the car so the car knows it only has 93.4 percent and 10.7 kilowatt hours left of the battery and also adjust the um, EV range accordingly and the um, the gauge as well. So when I was down to 80.8% or 80.5% only I could do only 35 kilometers and the battery gauge went down fairly quickly as well so it actually calculates everything on, on this base on the on the state of health which it gets from the ECU. Okay, and the, uh, the next line over here is just the state of charge. This is what the actual capacity is at the moment. Now you can see we are at 41.4% and we have 4.5 kilowatt hours left. This would result in 9 kilometers of EV range now. Um, I've got the um, aircon running at the moment. And this is the rest of the battery gauge. This is the 9 kilometers of rest I have like your fuel gauge in your car goes up and down as you use fuel as you refill your car so that's just the actual state at this moment okay so i hope i make this a little bit clear what these numbers um, mean in the phg watchdog or when you hear these expressions all the time in my videos state of charge state of health so it gives you a little bit more of an indication what's actually going on with the battery as I said, I don't think this is the real state of health of the battery which the um, computer calculates. I've got another theory. 
I'll talk about this in a <laughs> further video, of course. Um, because I want to make a short video. Um, how long is this? This is already six minutes recording time. Okay. Um, I want to keep this short as possible. <laughs> so, um, I've got another theory why this is happening. Quickly, this this actual um, state of health of the battery can apparently be reset by Mitsubishi. They usually charge you for that because they're saying it's not a service item. So it depends on how you charge, how you drive, how much EV driving you have, how much how your charging habits are basically. But they don't give you any indication what's the best charging habit. What's the what's the correct um, charging and usage, they don't tell you that. There's nothing in the manual, there's nothing on the website, there's nothing you can find on, on the internet somewhere. They leave you totally in the dark. Which is kind... It is kind of... Yeah, it is bad and good because it it shouldn't really matter how you, how you use your battery, yeah? If it gets charged or discharged a lot, it shouldn't really matter. Because the, the battery management system takes care of the battery anyway. So I can I can only deplete the battery to about 25% at, at the lowest. And then the um, combustion engine will kick in and recharge the battery to about 30% again. So it, it can't drop below 25%. It keeps it in a very healthy state. And everything above, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter if I if I change it if I charge it between 40.8 and 60 all the time now because I'm driving in the city at the moment. Yeah, I've got a lot of regen and acceleration again, so I'm constantly taking a lot of energy out and put it back in the battery. And this could happen basically 20 years long. Yeah, and it shouldn't affect the battery at all. Still, the management of the battery can't apparently cope with that and gives you lower figures after a while which is on one hand a problem with the software on the on the ECU which is which runs on the ECU and on the other hand it might be a problem with my other theory <laughs> okay but this video was more about give you an indication of state of health and state of charge of the battery and you know what's going on now um, thanks for watching again and this is Andy from Unplugged EV Australia signing off Stay charged.